Okay, so I have said in the past that the first steps to starting a so solopreneur business, self-employed uh, service professional, is not to create a fancy website. I even said to don't create a website, don't create a brand at all. But I just encountered an example today that I want to share with you that I thought was so effective because it is so simple. And yet it is aligned with how we get clients in the beginning, our first 50 clients, our first maybe even 100 clients, right? So let me show you this example. I want to just encourage you, especially those of you who are just starting out or who are getting frustrated with, do I have to build this really big fancy website or what, 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 what's really the first step? Check out what Siobhan has done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and you can see her website right here. All right, so look at this. This is a one page website. It's got her name, you know, her business name. It's got, it gives you a feel for what she wants to do with the work that you do with her. And so it's, it's got the it's simple, you know, beautiful image in the back. Um, you know, simple, uh, clear headline. That's what, you know, that's the point. And, you know, this is what, you know, this is just a few, uh, just a few paragraphs. If you want to know more kept updated, just click the link below and I'll be in touch. There it is right there. You can you know, sign up for her, um, you know, email list or contact her. And then uh, there are the social icons at the bottom. Now, personally, what I would probably do is, um, is make the social icons bigger. So I want people to, to really connect with me because if I'm gonna have a, a, sim a simple one page website, I do want people to feel like they can uh, get to know me a little bit better. And I think the social posts are a great way to get to, to, to know Siobhan better. So I went ahead and clicked on these three links and I just wanna show you here. Uh, we'll just look at the Facebook first. Facebook's great. You know, She posted not too long ago. So she is still active. Um, you know, uh, she's promoting her workshops and things here. So that's cool. Um, her uh, Instagram is also, you know, regularly updated. Um, you know, she's got uh, not just images and posts and she's got actually for 500 some followers, she's, get, she's getting a lot of good, good traction on her posts. And she's got videos, which then- Hey you everyone, know, I hope you're all well. This right. is just a quick reminder that I'll be doing another sunflower session on. This is great. I mean, this is so simple. It gives you a feel about what she does. Uh, she, of course, also has a LinkedIn, which uh, her LinkedIn image is, you know, on brand with, um, you know, what her website is very simple. And, um, you know, I probably wouldn't recommend that she say visit her website because her website is really the point is to have people, uh, connect with her on social, in my opinion, is really what the most effective thing is. She's got the featured LinkedIn uh, post here. This is why I do what I do, you know? So it's, I just wanted to show you all that this is so, such a simple way to start a business and it's effective. It's effective, that's the point. Like you don't need to pay somebody thousands of dollars or to, you know, try to you know, frustrate yourself by trying to do it yourself to have a great fancy website. You're, in, you're, you're feeling intimidated by the project. You're, you're afraid whether or not people are going to like it. And of course, the more fancy your website is, the more it's likely to break and have you know, security issues or, or, or bugs or whatever it is. And it's like such a simple thing. You can, you can do that and get your first 50, 100 clients, maybe more. Maybe that's all you need because remember, most of the clients you're going to get are through word of mouth anyway. So why are you working so hard to have a fancy website? Now you might say, well, George, I thought you want us to create content and, you know, uh, do this and that blog and all that. So, yes, I do. But you can at first create content just through the social channels. There, you know, you can have a very active Facebook page and Instagram page and YouTube channel. You could post on LinkedIn. You could tweet, whatever you want to do. You create content consistently through the websites that people visit anyway, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, et cetera. Why do you need to have such a fancy website? Well, George, what about SEO, search engine optimization? Yes, of course. Eventually, you will have a website. You will have posts on your own blog, et cetera. I mean, technically, 
what Siobhan could have done is just have a two page website. <clears throat> One is this, this main page and the second page is blog. And that way she can start blogging on her website and building search engine optimization through her blog posts, right? Because search, because blog to search engines love fresh content and literally two page websites, all you need. Your homepage, hey, connect with me, you know, join, join my email list, here are my social icons to, to check out what I do. And then here's my blog and that's for SEO or people can just read her best articles or latest articles, that's it. So simple, I love it, I love it. So. Siobhan, I hope it's okay that I highlighted you in this video. I, I wasn't planning, to be honest, I'm making a video today, but I just saw this. I'm like, this is such a great, simple model for, for all, of, all of us who are starting out or who are just overwhelmed with websites. Such a simple model to follow. So I hope this is helpful. And I will also put a link below to my blog post about first steps to start a solopreneur service-based business. Um, one my one of my main points there was to not make a website, but this would be an exception that I would give. So I'll, I'll put that link below, and I hope this is helpful. Hope this is inspiring, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. For those of you who don't know me, I'm George Cow, authentic business coach. I love talking about how do I build a business um, where we are really um, coming from the heart, not just saying we're coming from the heart and still doing mainstream marketing tactics, but really coming from the heart, from a pure intent in our marketing to serve, to bless, to express ourselves uh, genuinely, authentically. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.